weekend has been a great representation of a typical July pattern. A few pop up showers and storms and lots of dry time in between. And here for tonight, we're going to continue to see that pattern emerge. A few locally heavy storms are possible while temperatures will cool into the middle 70s. Tomorrow we're continuing with a seasonable pattern. Elevated rain chances, plenty of dry time while temperatures will peak in the upper 80s and lower 90s. So let's break down the timing for some of these showers and storms starting later this evening. We have the possibility for a few more isolated showers and storms to roll through our area. Now as we get into tomorrow morning, models are continuing to latch on to this unsettled start to the work week. So make sure you're staying cautious on your morning commute tomorrow just in case you run into any of these local heavy storms. Otherwise, once that system moves through, we will see mostly dry skies throughout the day. A few of those pop up showers and storms are possible, and that similar trend will emerge for Tuesday. Lots of dry time in between a few scattered showers and storms, and models are trending for most of the storm to develop to mainly be into more inland areas. And again, for Wednesday, that typical pattern will emerge. So our rain chances are st remaining elevated throughout this upcoming coming week. We have those elevated rain chances due to those pop up showers and storms. But as we get into the late week, we will eventually start to see a front move through our area, bring some showers and storms, and that will also bring up those rain chances as well. Now we are still in drought conditions across the Carolinas, but this rainfall is going to be much needed throughout this week. As we get into next weekend, we're likely going to see rainfall tallies over an inch widespread, even some areas nearing three inches of rainfall total throughout this week. Here for today, the Wilmington Airport did not receive any rainfall. However, some areas of our region did experience a few isolated showers and storms as we take a look outside with our Bob King GMC first alert sky Camp in downtown Wilmington on the Murkison building. We have mostly sunny skies. Current temperature 88 degrees feels more like 96 as we factor in that dew point. Taking a look across southeast North Carolina, we do still have a few of those isolated showers and storms, otherwise mostly dry across our area. We are experiencing this unsettled conditions and these elevated rain chances due to that stationary front that is over most of south the southeast United States. That's bringing unsettled weather all the way from Texas through the Carolinas. So this time of year is really important that you do have some of that rain gear on standby with you. As we look into the tropics, we have some more Saharan dirt moving into the Atlantic Basin. Otherwise, a few pop up showers and storms as well. However, new tropics cyclone formation is not expected over the next seven days here locally. Typical July that front moves through late week, dropping down the temperatures into the upper 80s, even some middle 80s starting to sneak in. Eventually we'll see a high pressure system move in in your 10 day forecast. Delaney.